Que transa familia. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Long Beach, California, baby. This video is going to be all about lowrider Chicano culture. Que es una cultura que no es mexicana, tampoco es gringa. Es cultura chicana, nació de la mezcla de las dos culturas. And I'm here in Long Beach, California with a lowrider club. We're going to learn all about it. I've been waiting my whole life to learn about it. Let's go, let's go. Pom, 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 pom. I'm here with Plata o Plomo, a lowrider club here in Long Beach, California. And this is the homie right here who was my contact. He's Long Beach Lloyd, right? Yes, sir. The president of this club, right? Yeah. Well, that's what's up, man. I appreciate y'all receiving me today. I'm excited to learn a bit about what y'all do, this culture, y'all's cars, or as we say in Mexico, las mamalonas. Mamalonas? <laughs> From what I understand, mamalonas is like, you know, it's usually trucks, right? Like yeah, 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 yeah. Like a badass whip, like a nice, a nice ride. Si me equivoco, corrígeme ahí abajo en los comentarios. Mamalón. Mamalón. Carro mamalón. Carro mamalón. Maybe I'm wrong. Mamalón has the truck. <laughs> I'm just a Georgia boy. Yo, 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 take it easy on me. ¿Qué tal? Me dolió el cuello, cabrón. Ahí estaba como, yeah, let's go. Y de repente... O sea, todo bien, pero sí me dolió el pinche cuello. But really fun, dude, really fun. So Lloyd, what's up with the hydraulics, man? Like, where did all that start? Like, how did this low riding culture start? Dude? So back in the 1940s, some Mexican Americans, they used to lower their car. They put sandbags in the back, cut the coils, all that other stuff, and drive their cars around. Yeah. They started catching on and became really popular. Yeah. In the 50s, they made it illegal. So in the hydraulics, you could start lifting it up. They were taking parts off of airplanes and turning them into hydraulics, I believe. Really? Yeah, that's how it all started. They made it where you could raise it up. So when you pass the cops, you didn't get the ticket. Then you can go back lower when you're out there riding with your buddy. So it just, <laughs> What's up, it's a ball. Now we have all kinds of cars. I mean, they'll hop straight up and stand on the bumper. We have fun street cars. I mean, there's all different types of low riders. I started it 111 2018 and it was only about four of us for a while and we just kept building and building. Now we're in Florida, Texas, Australia, all over California and about 50, 60 members. I don't have the exact count off the top of my head. Right. So where's yours, bro? This right. is mine. Hell yeah. This is my 1964 Paula. I call it Hustle 64 because this was the last car Nipsey Hustle used in the higher video. And uh, No way. With, yeah, with DJ Khaled and uh, John Legend. He used it on Thursday and unfortunately he passed on Sunday. Uh, a guy known as Compton Rick had it, drove it around for a while. He put it up for sale. I bought it out of Compton and I did a full trip. I'm one of the first people ever to do hydro dipping and low riding and I hydro dipped all the chrome pieces that I wanted to highlight in blue bandana. And then I gave it like an artsy pattern so it kind of has that, you know, flair to give the car the shine, probably get out of the light. I did the door handles, the locks the inner door handles, the certain little pieces, my switch panel. A uh, director friend of mine actually went to Nipsey Hustle funeral and then he gave me that. Just a little something cool like it add to the car. Uh, Nipsey was a really cool dude. I like what he stood for. I love his music. I knew some of his songs and I did listen to him, but I became a fan after he passed, unfortunately. So let me show you this. I got the custom Dayton chip. This is usually red. These are 88 spoke original. One of my favorite rims, Dayton. I have a Dayton on my neck, and my son's name is Dayton Ryder. <laughs> oh man, you all about it. Oh yes, that's you all. Really out, you really live and breathe this. <laughs> I do, I've been doing it since I was 16, and I'm 49 now, so, you know, it's just something I'm always gonna do. I love, my children hit the switch, they love to go low riding with me. You know, people that uh, get into low riding te seem to step back from the streets, you know, and the uh, gang life. I'm not trying to push that, but if I can get them into low riding, get kids doing this type of stuff, and sit out there in the streets doing drugs, or you know, going to prison, I'd much prefer that. I have children myself, and I also would have liked that type of guidance. It took me a while to figure it out, but I got it now. It's 
estamos yeah. brincando. Yo, I've never felt anything like this in my life. Oh, dude, it's a lot of fun. So you just mess around with that? Yeah, so this is basically front, back, and corners. So let's see here. Turn it all the way. Back all the way up. It's three wheel motion. So that means this this wheel right here is in the air. It's in the air. Oh my god. This is god. also the Ice Cube Good Cop Bad Cop car too. Is it? Yeah. They used it in that so, in that video. Yeah. What? That's what's up, dude. Yeah. You know all these guys. Oh, yeah, huh? I do. I'm You're in tight with all these rappers, huh? I am. I Just because of the cars, I've done a lot of videos with them. I've done like four with Snoop, two I was in, you know, with my cars, and then I can't think of any uh, rappers that I've worked with that I haven't had a good time. Yeah. A lot more natural. I don't want to be like Mr. Fanboy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm sure they appreciate that, too. You yeah, know? yeah. I, I, we're all the same. We put our clothes on just the same. We all want the best for our families. We all got mothers, brothers, and sisters. You know, I... I don't look at anybody any different. I'm Asian and white in a lowrider gang, which is predominantly uh, Mexican and black. And I grew up in mostly Mexican and black areas. We moved around a lot. To me, if you're black, I just want to know what your mom's cooking. Or if you're Mexican, I want to know what your mom's cooking. Because <laughs> it's all about the food experiences, you know? People people are so uh, one-sided. <clears throat> yeah. People say, oh, you know, I don't really care for Mexicans. But next thing you know, they're drinking margaritas and eating salsa and chips. I'm like, wait. If you're not gonna like something, don't like it all the way. Like, just let it yeah. go. You know, yeah, don't but, be a hypocrite about yeah, it. Like, if you really, if you're really gonna rule out a, ra a race of people, yeah, you gotta rule out everything that everything. they create. Absolutely. This is yours. What's your name? Daniel. 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 This is the first time I see one wheel in the air. What's it called? A three-point stance? Uh, three wheeling. Three wheeling. Yeah. So you got the hydraulics and everything in there. Yeah, for the most part, um, simple setup, just six batteries, three pumps. Super, <laughs> super simple. Six batteries and three pumps. I mean, maybe that's simple for y'all standards, but going on four months. Look at this. The high hitters hydraulics. How much does each one of these suckers cost, yeah. if you don't mind me? Uh, it's a couple hundred, so the ones, the other ones were fast. Depend, yeah, it all depends on your setup. Well, can I see the sucker in action? Yeah. We're all ready to take off. What's your name, bro? Joe. Joe? Yeah. That's what's up. Are you Chicano? Yeah, Mexican. That's what's up, dude. Yeah. From which part is your family? Michoacan. Michoacan. Yeah. Puro Michoacan, el alma de Mexico. <laughs> That's what's up, bro. But you're from here, you're from Long Beach. Is this one yours? Yeah. Nice. I like this one. It's kind of like. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me about your low rider, bro. Uh, it's a 63 Impala. You put Next some hydraulics in it? No, I had hydraulics, but the gears were just not cracking. And oh, you okay. Batteries, stuff like that. So oh, I went okay. ahead and put a lot of work into it, and I got it to where it needs to be. Word. Will you show me the inside real yeah, quick? Yeah, for sure. That's nice, though. I love these old cars. They ain't got the headrests, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's no up. Seat belts. No seat belts. No. Oh, nice. We got eight batteries, three pumps, the fifth wheel on the back. Yeah. Put the tire in there. That's the hood rat, son. Yeah. <laughs> the hood rat, cause she, cause she been sold a lot. She got around. Yeah. She got around. <laughs> Beautiful green Monte Carlo. This is yours, huh? What's your name? Yeah, my, my name's Mondo. Mondo. Yeah, born and raised in Long Beach, right here. That's what's up. Yeah, born and raised in Long Beach, but you wearing a you wearing a Bulls jersey. Yeah, my favorite uh, my favorite player other than Kobe, you know, Mr. Jordan. The inspiration for Kobe, yeah, right? Exactly. The guy who Kobe emulated. Exactly. Who strived to be like. That's right. So tell me about your low rider, homie. This right here is a 1979 Monte Carlo. Mm -hmm. uh, I've had it for about four months, roughly. It's my first low rider ever. Damn, you were, you weren't lying. Six batteries? It was originally six. Hot back increased it to eight. He did the additional battery rack. So it was originally two pumps. Got him to hook up the third pump. If you don't mind me asking, bro, how much we looking at right here with the three pumps and the eight batteries? Well, if you're looking at the batteries, they're about 100, 120 a piece yeah. times eight. And then each pump is 500 to 1,000. OK. Not too bad. Yeah. But uh, does the trick. Look at this sucker. I see this Cali girl skating by in a roller skate. She's taking pictures of the low riders. Like, what, what you think about these low riders? You like, you like this scene? You like these I cars? Love it. Yeah. What yes. do you like about it? I feel like it's just 
California. It's the epitome of Southern California. When I think of Snoop Dogg, Low Riders, you know, like even what's that one song? It's like ding, 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 ding. <laughs> dun, 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 yeah. dun. Brings me back to those memories. That's cool. You heard the words from the Californian girl. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I appreciate it. Yeah. On the to Trinity, you don't know. Yeah, we still the same ones. When it comes to chats, we don't take none. What's your name? Danny. Danny. What kind of car is this one? This one's a 1955 Pontiac. How long have you had this one? This one, about a year and a half. Nice. Um, is it pretty much like this when you bought it, or did you have to restore it and put no, some love into it? No, it was uh, painted, it. it was upholstered. Um, it sat for a long time, needed a lot of mechanical stuff, just small stuff. What, what do you most love? about this low rider scene. The this, unity we have. The yeah, unity. There's a lot to love about it, to yeah, be honest. No color lines. No color lines. As you can see, our club, we have Asians. Different cultures, you know? Yeah. We have Guam, Mexicans, white, African Americans. It, it's, it's more of a culture for us. Uh -huh. So basically just the unity, just the fact that no matter where you're from, what, what heritage you got, which country your parents come from, which color your skin is, Y'all share the love, like the mutual love of the low rider. Black flag group, yeah, shake some. We don't want no drama in this, so don't make none. Bob until the day come, yeah, till the day come. And the day came. All right, there's only really one thing left to do. We gotta ride out, man. We got a low ride. Let's go. We gotta hit the street. And the day came. Still dumbing through the night, chance of light rain. I guess I really gotta show you. Cool, man. It is such a cool subculture that I, I haven't seen really anywhere else, you know? It is something that we all have in common we're from all different types of lives and families and you know yeah. growing up history. races and everything huh absolutely so <laughs>Yeah, that guy just stopped in the middle of the intersection to let us to let y'all ride, huh? Yeah, yeah, we keep the daily with us for situations like that. It's like a funeral secession or the president coming down the street, you know what I mean? You gotta make sure everybody gets through the light, and stays together tight. Sometimes you break ranks. Just probably like now, I'll accidentally run a light, but we pull over and wait for each other. That's like a real sense of brotherhood, man. I love that. It is. This is all about cars and having fun. It just is what it is.¿Qué piensen ustedes? Opinen abajo, dejen un comentario. ¿Qué piensen de esa cultura? A mí se me hace súper, súper interesante. Y'all know that I'm going to leave Long Beach Lloyd's contact information and Plata y Plomo's contact information below. If y'all want to come check it out, if you're ever in LA or Long Beach, you guys know who to hit up. From what I understand, y'all do tours too. Yeah, yeah, I'll take you around. Hit me up. It's Long Beach Lloyd. Thanks, homie. Right, I appreciate man. it. Man. It's my pleasure, dude. We'll see y'all in the next one. Hasta take la próxima. It easy.